Previously, on Oblivion, spending time among the citizens of Bruma really has began to dull my senses. Perhaps it's the snow that has slowed their brains to a glacial pace. They truly believed a man who claimed to be a vampire hunter, who then immediately found and killed a vampire, was trustworthy. I found this vampire hunter hiding in a cave, obsessing over the keys needed to unlock a chest. After quickly dispatching the fool, I nabbed the amulet. The now widow of the vampire activated its power after helping avenge her husband's death. So many people died for this amulet, and all it did was make me feel slightly faster on my feet. I figured since I was already knee-deep in stupidity and lies, I'd help another citizen in Bruma. This lady and her partner were former thieves turned bandits. A tale not too different from my own. Her partner had been arrested but managed to hide the loot from their last robbery. Through some rather persuasive means, I was able to befriend the Nord, who asked me for one simple thing. Kill his girlfriend and he'd tell me where the gold was. A simple task. I returned to the Nord who kept his word. Quite a bit of gold for such little work. Hello, and welcome back to some more Oblivion with Andrin Sellis. So today we are standing beneath the stained glass window of the greatest of the Nine Divines, Stendar, who I assume is the patron saint of Bruma? I don't know. But instead of serving Stendar today and doing righteous things in his name, we're just going to rob a bunch of people. Hello. The Grey Fox is waiting for you. He's inside, downstairs. Don't keep him waiting. All right, I'm sorry. I kind of forgot he was waiting for us. All right, well, let's rob that guy since he's outside and he won't notice that we're taking his stuff. We are detected right now. I guess the Grey Fox sees everything, huh? Hey. Come, we must talk. You have a silly hat, sir. A silly, silly hat. I see you got my message. <laughs> You're lucky I wasn't busy. Curb your tongue, Shadowfoot. <laughs> I am the Grey Fox. If you ever want to become a master thief in the guild, you had better learn respect. <laughs> I see you got my message. I did, I did. It's an honor to finally meet you. I have need of your special gifts. There is an item hidden away in a remote monastery. I need you to go get it for me. Um, the monastery is extensive and well guarded, so you should make sure to be well prepared. Should you succeed, I will pay you well for your services. I would be honored to help. Capital! The monastery is called the Temple of the Ancestor Moths. It is where retired blind moth priests go to wait out the rest of their days. I will mark the location on your map. Look for it in the far northeast of Cyrodiil, beyond Chaden Hall. I need you to acquire Sevilla's stone. It is a large crystal with special properties that I need to gain advantage. Remember, do not shed innocent blood. However, there is no blood price for slaying the stone's guardians, human or inhuman. When I receive word that Sevilla's stone is missing, I will be here waiting for you. You better be. Can we do this quest? That is a very important question that I do not have the answer to. So you're not supposed to kill humans. That's easy enough. You know, I'm sure we're going to get detected because our sneak isn't very good. But we can just run away. It's the other stuff that is down there. I assume monsters and whatnot that we could also try to run away from. But sometimes you can't. And it sounds like the Guardians, whoever they are, are specifically dangerous. That's why he mentioned it. Um, so what can we do here? We have a bunch of money. We could go try to buy some potions and alchemy ingredients and try to make some something to help us survive a little better. What do we have over here? I have to be careful because I dropped some stuff. And it's technically still stealing if I pick it up. Let's head to an alchemist. Let's go to the Imperial City. There's I think two alchemists here and see what we can find. Okay, so I went around and made a bunch of potions and bought some. I got our alchemy up to 22, which isn't that bad. It's almost up to uh, where we can see the second ingredient effect. So that'll help a lot. We're pretty close to leveling up. I think I'm going to try to level up again 
And we already trained at this level, so we don't have to worry about that. I think if we summon some, like, conjuration stuff, that'll level us up pretty easily. I guess we could do bound dagger. There you go, and then just wait an hour. There you go. Leveled up. Uh, we'll stay at the Merchant's Inn, even though it is pretty expensive. Well, 20 gold's not too bad. Good day. We have a little bit of money. <laughs> I'm just used to being poor. Who closed the door? All right, let's just sleep for an hour. See what the damage is. So we can get intelligence times five. I really like that. That's good. Endurance times four. I'll take that. And strength and willpower kind of suck. I don't really want to take those. So let's just take speed. We're going to have to go up into the mountains and we might need to be outrunning a lot of things. So that's not a bad level at all. All right, let's go train armor once again because we need that juicy endurance bonus every time. Plus, if I do it now, I won't forget Me later. Too. So there's a good chance we level up in this dungeon. OK, so how much Magicka do we have now? We have 49 health. That's pretty damn good. Uh, 70 Magicka, 72 Fatigue, that's fine. All right, well, we are going to head north to the Temple of the Ancestor Moths. We can leave from Chaden Hall. I guess we have some potions. We have a fresh level under our belt. We can almost cast Bound Dagger twice now. <laughs> almost. We didn't get any willpower increase, though, so our magic regen is still not going to be good. It's fine. Plus, we can grab a few fast travel markers on the way up here, such as the Knights of the Thorn. Andrin is very familiar with the Knights of the Thorn as the Count's son is a member of them. I don't think the Count's son actually appears, though, until the um, Spoiler alert. Oblivion gates start opening up though, right? I don't think you can actually meet him before then. Maybe you can. Okay. A timber wolf, 60 health. We have 49. Can we take him on? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe with some fireballs? Do I have fireball equipped anymore? Yes, I do. Haha. That was a miss. <clears throat> Uh, I mean, we didn't die in one shot, so this is pretty good. Oh, okay, well, he knocked us out. Okay, well, we're, we're almost dead. I didn't want to have to use any potions already, but uh, let's use one. Oh, okay, well, okay, okay. Yeah, you, you stay down there. We're going to drink some magic potions so we can heal ourselves. We should grab a shield, but... Our strength is still 80. <laughs> Our carrying capacity is still 80. I don't want to carry anything we don't have to absolutely have. Where did he go? Come here. I believe. No. <laughs> I want to live. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Die. Okay. All right. We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> we killed a wolf. It's a red letter day. I mean, we've killed a wolf before, but this is like a level four wolf, you know, the one that's been haunting our dreams every night. Um, there's a camp up here. Let's wait around and get our health back. Is this a bandit camp or is this a... Yes, it is a level five bandit camp with 73 health. So we're going to, you know, just run away. <laughs> yeah, so these doom stones up here, I think they're called. We. We came across one before, and some of them you have to have a certain amount of fame. But other ones, as long as it's a certain time of night, you can get them. Yeah, this one we actually need fame, so we can't grab it. But we should look out for a good one, because it'll just give you like a major power you can use every day. Well, most of the time they're not very good because you're not crippling your stats like we are, but might actually be good for us. It's kind of like our ancestral guardian. I've probably never used that before in this game, before this series who uses their racials besides maybe like I think red guards and orcs get a pretty good racial even then after about level like five you stop using racials the only time you ever really do is maybe Morrowind sometimes ancestral guardian is pretty good we use that quite a few times with Valdrin but again early on and then eventually we just stopped using it but let's get out our sick torch though so we can see the bandits and wolves coming down the mountains like supposedly this one that's right behind me okay <laughs> We're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep going. We, we killed one wolf for the day 
And we had to use one of our good healing potions. That's enough. That's enough. We're almost there already. Looked a lot farther on the map. Maybe the people here will help us. And yes, the little moths. The Temple of the Ancestral Moths. Hey. Hello, stranger. Welcome to the Temple of the Ancestor Moths. Yeah, there's a wolf outside your house. Um, you might want to deal with that before you go out and pray tomorrow. Apparently, we can just take some of this stuff. Interesting. I'm surprised they don't care. Well, if you don't care, I don't care. You can tell me about Sevilla Stone. Who is this uh, Sevilla? A uh, former lover, perhaps? I don't know anyone by that name. You're a liar. You're a blind monk? I don't understand what you mean. We can see just fine. Ah, you're just a liar all the time, huh? What? This guy actually kind of likes his own, why. Works for me. We serve the retired moth priests from the Imperial City. The work they do leads to progressive blindness. They live in utter darkness in the secret catacombs. Of course, it doesn't affect them because they're blind. Of course. Now will you tell me about Sevilla Stone? I really shouldn't be telling you this, but I know you are trustworthy. That's me. The blind monks in the catacombs guard the stone. It's said to have magical powers. Don't tell Heridi I said anything. I could be banished for telling you. I don't know why you are telling me. Where are the catacombs? I can't reveal that. It would be far too dangerous. I don't know you that well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> For you, of course. All right, all right. We'll joke about it and not I'll tell you you're handsome. Your, I see. Okay, what about I can't. Oh. For we you. have to bribe him. Gosh I dang it. I appreciate Well, all right then. I'll show you. Please be discreet and don't bother the other monks. May you always wear soft silk. Thank you. I hope you have found your stay here. What a nice guy. I mean, we do look pretty trustworthy in this chain mail, so I don't blame him. Is this like locked? I know it's, I mean, we could have just came over here, I guess. I can pick a hard lock easy. Maybe he opens something else that you normally can't get through. This is going to be interesting. I'm not confident in our sneaking ability in any shape or form. They are blind, so we have that going for us. There are torches in the barrel. Oh, thank you. What can may you? All right, <laughs> I don't want to do this, but we are going to disrobe. We need to be sneaky. Ships. I don't want to get caught. Get rid of the torch too. I've entered the catacombs of the blind monks. The gray fox hinted that the true guardians of Sevilla's stone would not be subject to the blood price. I'm betting that means they also won't be too happy to see me. I'd better be careful from here on. All right, I guess so. Okay, room of darkness. Oh, there's some loot over here. Man, it's really dark. We'll put the torch out <laughs> sometimes to light it up. Um, are there going to be a bunch of monks in here? Maybe. No, no monks. All right. 22 gold. All right. We're already making our money back from bribing him. If there's anything I remember about this dungeon is it's super long. Where are you? Like ridiculously long. Oh, the crap. He saw us. All right. Well, guess we'll be a... Uh, running the rest of the way let's grab some loot though while we're at it <laughs> i did not expect to him to see us that quickly apparently there's a rat down here too he's not hurting anyone just us uh what's in this we'll grab it. ah he's blocking my exit oh no is this how we die in a hole with a blind man in a yes <laughs> okay <laughs> Guess that never happened. Okay, well now we know. Don't go that way, there's a guy right there. So we will go the long way. I feel like I'm playing Grimrock right now. But there's no secrets. <laughs> so so it's not very fun. Okay, is this rat gonna detect us too? Or was that just a one-time thing? Hey buddy. Oh, you saw us. Shh, don't alert the monks. I'm trying to be sneaky. Well, the good news is we can kill rats. We got that going for us. Catacombs of the Temple of the Moth. Okay. We're doing better than I thought we would. I didn't think we'd make it this far, to be honest. 
Um, so we have two paths. It seems like this one is the road less child. Uh, we detected? Oh, we were totally detected as well. Oh no, there's just more people that are coming this way. All right. Got my hands. <laughs> it's a bad monk. Go back to being blind. <laughs> ah! We can't kill any of them either, even if we really wanted to. Hold on, let me just pick this door really quick and open it very slow. Okay, well, there's like 10 monks in here. Uh, let's just keep going. Yeah, I mean, surely they can't all catch us. Do kind of want this chest here, though. 21 gold. All right, it was worth it. Yeah, you guys are too stupid to climb up the crates. <laughs> as long as they don't punch us off. Okay. And that rat just <laughs> leaped off. Can I actually not get up here? Okay. Um, I mean, if you guys all just want to hang down there, that's fine with me. Let's uh, drink a potion, though. We are still naked. All right, that guy's going to be a pain. Got a freaking two-handed katana running towards us. This is not where we were supposed to... Well, might as well get the torch out so we can see. Is this just a dead end? This is a dead end. <laughs> well. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Okay, 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 we gotta take some potions. Um, these aren't very good potions. We made these ones. Yeah, I guess we gotta go this way. Well, let's grab this chest while we're running past. <laughs> At least we don't have to be undetected. At least it's not an Assassin's Creed game where you get detected, the mission fails, and you have to start back at the very beginning. We have that going for us. <laughs> sure, we might not be the greatest thief of all time, but who is, who is? I think they're still following us. Okay, skeleton buddy. Those are the worst traps of all time. No. Ah. Hey, okay, he just killed us. Am I supposed to be Because archers have heat seeking missiles. Gosh dang, I haven't saved for so long. Well, give me a moment to get back. Yeah, we're getting instantly detected by these guys, so uh these guys are asleep and blind, and they can still hear us, so. We don't really have any any hope. All right, we're finally back to the skeleton guy. Guess we'll go a different direction and hope for the best. I think the monks are still chasing us though, so we gotta be quick. Oh well, good, a room of poison and death. And ha! eight gold. Oh. Okay, well, that was not a complicated puzzle. All right, all right, we're making good, good progress. I should probably put the dagger away. No, no. Ow! Physics, no. <laughs> uh, um, can we jump over these logs? Ah! <laughs> okay, game. I have to somehow trigger the logs and not get killed by the physics. Okay. I guess I'll just have to be patient. Are you done moving? Can you not hurt me anymore? Okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Steady progress, steady progress. Um, where does this go? Oh, ghost, that's nice. We're not gonna go that way. A hard lock, well, all right. We seem to be out of danger, at least. We're not detected by anyone. Is that it? I think that's it. Um, there's a guy there, though. I feel like you can actually kill these guys because they're like the actual guardians of the stone. I I don't want to do that because there's no way we could possibly kill them. So you there, stop where you are. Freaking a hundred health. That thing's gonna start shooting at us too. It's gonna miss. All right, let's put our dagger away. I have no intentions of fighting. It's just kind of slowing us down. All right, well, see you later. <laughs> All right, we can probably put our clothes back on. <laughs> Is he following us? Yep, he's totally following us. For how long? That remains to be seen. Well, there is a Daedric Shrine over here, so we might as well go grab that. Oh, it's to Azura, too. That's kind of interesting. Um, I don't want to do it right now, though. <laughs> All right, let's head back to Bruma. We only died like five times, so it's pretty good. I'm back. Come. I hear the monks were most 
hospitable. Yeah, yeah, they were. I do have Seville's stone. My sources tell me that Seville's stone has gone missing. Do you have it with you? But, yes, that's what I just said. Capital! Now I can see past the palace defenses. Oh, it's a good thing the Emperor didn't know they had this stone. He would have had it destroyed or taken it from them and kept it under lock and key in the palace. When I have learned what I need to know, I will call for you again. Let us leave Helvius's house now. He has served me well and deserves his peace. Tell me about the Grey Fox. I don't answer questions about myself, particularly when they come from a shadow foot. Well then. Shadow hide you. Ooh, 500 gold. That'll pay for the bribes that we had to spend and the potions we had to use. <laughs> okay, so we need to sell 7,500 now. All right, well, let's rob some people. And now there's like 20 people in the street. Uh, let's just wait till nighttime then. All right. Hey. Mind if I crash here? Who the heck are you? Whoa, oh, you, you scared me. I was off in my happy place, and you just popped in and wrecked the whole thing. <laughs> yep. What can you tell me about the Imperial City? Big city. I'd really love the lights at night. Shoo, shoo. The city of love. Got it? Love, light, night. Big. Big, 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 big. Pretty sure that guy does a lot of skooma. Or other various drugs. He seems to be off his rocker. Uh, let's rob him. Yes, skooma in the chests. <laughs> skooma in every chest. Yeah, this guy's just a straight up skooma addict. Well, at least we're doing a good deed. We're helping kick his addiction. Yeah, every single one of these chests has three skooma. I've never been in this building before. Well, hopefully he won't mind if we borrow it. I need to make some money so the uh, gray fox will talk to me again. All right, well, we'll come back here. There seems to be quite a few decent things in here, so... Yeah, this guy's just... Lives in a big mansion and does drugs. I guess that's pretty realistic. Um, yeah, let's head to Bruma. All right, what else do you got besides Skuma? Bunch of silver. Is he still down here? Doesn't look like it. Uh, that's pretty good, but it's kind of really heavy. All right, does he have any more Skuma in his basement is the question. He's got dog crates. Okay, this guy's kind of a nut job, isn't he? Hopefully these are for actual dogs and not for people. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what he's doing when he's on skooma. Um, all right, well, I guess we'll just grab the rest of your silverware. I mean, does he really need all this fancy stuff? He's just going to spend it on drugs. I think we're I think we're helping the community and we're selling it to a guy who doesn't do skooma. So like it's not going to go back into the streets. You know, the thieves guild is just going to throw it away or something. This guy has an alien torch in his chest in his room. We could have just stole one. I'm pissed that we paid for it. Ooh, a silver war axe. Let's take that too. I didn't want to head back to the Imperial City again, me. so I figured we I would finish robbing that weapon store now that we can actually carry a few things. But it was literally a few things. I think I picked up a sword. Okay, is that enough? Shadow hiding. Is that enough? Come on. Yes, okay. I've reached my goal. I need to wait for the Gray Fox to contact me. Okay. How much money do we have? 44. Should we go buy a house? Let's go buy a house. And we'll get contacted by the Gray Fox while we're here, I'm sure. But yeah, let's, uh... I think it's time Andorin had a house. A central location. To store all the crap we've been throwing on the side of the Bruma Chapel. <laughs> it's you. Hi. Venincia Melissea, Office of Imperial Commerce. You got complaints? Of course you've got complaints. Who doesn't? Yes, I want to buy a house. When we are better friends, ask again. You bitch. So? Tell her jokes and tell her <laughs> yeah, she's pretty even right. though she's disgusting. All right, all right, bad. what about now? Why? I mean, of course. All I have available right now is a hovel on the waterfront. It's good enough for me. I just happen to have 2,000 gold. Really? Then you've just become a homeowner. Hooray! Here is your house key. You'll find it in the waterfront district. It's not much to look at. Just like you. You may want to spruce it up a bit with some furnishings. I'd suggest talking to Sergius Verus at Three Brothers Trade Goods in the Market District. Sweet. Good day. We have a house. We're moving on up in the world.
Tertullian, Sergius, and Cicero, the three Verus brothers. I'm Sergius. That's fascinating. <laughs> All right, let's quick. get him to like us before we spend a bunch of money. Mark. Don't waste your flattery on me. All right, what's look. the best we're going to get, unfortunately? Um, yeah, let's buy these. Oh, man, they're so expensive. We can't even afford them all. Uh, doesn't even look like they went down in price. Um, uh, well, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to spend the rest of our money. Now. Well, that was a waste of time. Let's go check out our house. Actually, before we check out our house, let's go grab all of our crap in Bruma, so we can store it in our house. Yeah. Can we carry all this? I don't know. Hopefully. Yeah, we can. Okay. Yes, let's head to the waterfront and go to our house now. I've arrived at my new house. I may want to head over to the Three Brothers to buy some furnishings. Oh, it doesn't even have a chest in it. Yeah, uh, I guess we should have bought the storage one. All right, well, I guess we'll just dump them on the ground. I feel like that causes issues long term in a game like this, but oh well. There we go. Starting to look like home already. Where's the bust? We got to stick that somewhere fitting. I guess on the table. The, the only furniture we have that's not a bed. Oh, no. No. Okay, well, we could get this to go the right way. Flip up. No. Up, oh, up. Oh, there we go. And let's put our fancy amulets up here, too. Of course, this is all going to, like, fly around the second we enter the building again. But all right, well. I think that looks pretty good. But I think I'm going to end it there for today. Another mission done for the Gray Fox. We own a house with a candle, a fireplace, a bed, and a table. Things are uh, looking up for Andrin for the first time in a long time. Anyways, thank you for watching and peace out.